Well, hello, it's me, Rodney. Glad to see ya. Haven't been on for a while. You're probably looking at me like, man, you look really different. Well, I'll tell you what. I was looking at the United States Constitution, Article 7, and said, hey, cut the damn mullet off, the 80s mullet, because you look like the guy that's a doctor that disrespects kids. I didn't want to be like that, so I just cut my damn hair. I'm growing another mullet. It's going to be the modern mullet. And, uh, you know, I still have my vipers on. I ain't, I ain't getting rid of these damn vipers. This is not happening. We're doing this for freedom. We're not going to be compared to that doctor that disrespects people. You know what I mean? Anyways, July 4th, Independence Day. One of the best damn days of the whole year. Or probably the whole world or universe. Basically what happened, which is really crazy. And I cry about this every time I, I talk about it. And, uh, anyways... <coughs> And mainly an assholes came here in 1996 or 98, I forget what year. Tom Arnold got in a damn airplane. He said, hello, boys, I'm back. After Bill Pullman gave a really cool speech saying that you were going to celebrate our damn Independence Day because we're fucking Americans. Tom Arnold got up there, ran his ship right in two. He sacrificed his whole life to kill the alien assholes. One of the craziest, greatest battles we've ever seen. A lot of men lost their lives that day. But what we gained became freedom. It was America, man. It's America. And that's why we need to really, really appreciate it. When we're looking at the fireworks on display, eating our hot dogs and hamburgers, you really need to look and thank Tom Arnold for saving, saving America. And I'm going to take a toast to that because I feel like we should all take a toast for Tom Arnold. Sucks. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh shit. That stuff. That stuff is killing me. That stuff's killing me. Tell you what, I stopped drinking. I, I don't really drink a lot of beer anymore because it's all political beer, and I don't like political beer. And uh, I've been drinking that stuff. And you know, I like make good craft beer every once in a while, but there's really no good craft beer that I can grab anymore because it's so damn expensive. It's like twenty bucks for a six pack. I used to get my Bud Light, and I don't buy that shit anymore because it got all political and stuff. And some guy dressed like a girl, he uh advertised for it and killed the brand. I won't go into any details on that. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, we're going to be in our hamburgers and hot dogs on 4th of July. We're going to see some cops. We'll see some army veterans. I'm going to get in trouble, probably in jail, because I pissed on my neighbor's yawn. Did that yesterday. I almost punched that fucker out. It says in Article 2 of the Constitution that, hey, I have the right the piss in your lawn. It says it right here. It says, hey, asshole, I'm going to pee in your lawn. Shut your mouth. Go home. Oh, this is your home? Well, go to your other home. I'm peeing right here. It says that in the Constitution. It says that in the United States Constitution. I haven't been on here. Right? I'm so nervous. I'm so damn nervous. Like, I know, I know I look different. I look, I look probably smell different and all that stuff. And Mr. Bits, he, or Mr. Evil Ass, what he calls himself on X and his video games, won't let me out ever because he's afraid I'm going to say something really stupid when I probably will. I don't care. I ain't got no filter. I don't have filters. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering, have I been keeping up on the whole fraud or thing? I have, slowly, not, not a whole lot. I've been catching up on the chili shit. I know you guys like chili. I like Wendy's chili. It's pretty good. But uh, we, ain't, we, ain't got no, uh, we ain't got no chili over uh, over there. And was it Arizona? Is that where he's at? Nevada? Posting his uh, diatribes of crying on the internet about how he's a famous scholar and he's smart. He's going to change the world in prison while his buddy Roy is rubbing his nibbles. You know what I mean? Gets on there like he's going to change the world. He's a, he's a, 
<laughs> he's sacrificing. He's a martyr. Actually, he's a damn fool. Scotty's a pill coming up. So we'll probably hop on and talk about that here soon. Something I really, really, really think is funny. You know, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you. So I'll hop on there every once in a while. Just reading through the comments. And I take a look at those view numbers, uh, the like ratios and all this stuff. And I say, hey, why is that video? Why does that video have, you know, 70,000 views? You only have 100 comments, maybe. And like fucking 20, you know, 100 likes. Doesn't make sense. One thing, too, is whenever I talk to these people, they're saying free chili. I'm like, well, I guess you, I guess you support domestic violence and wishing cancer on children. I guess that's something you like. You also probably think it's okay for some dude to say, hey, See that cop girl? I'm going to do bad things to her. I'm going to, I'm going to do bad things. If you know what I mean, I can't say it on YouTube, obviously, because I'll get, I'll get banned. But you know, they're letting this happen on platform. They don't really care, anyways. I mean, if I say something, if I say something like that, they'll probably cancel me. And yeah, you know, I just, I just don't really give a fuck anymore. But it's going to be funny to see, uh, see this old weasel get in, uh, in the prison and stuff like that. Um, says right here in the Constitution, Article 7, that's not 7, that's a 9, that's a 9, that's totally a 9, that's a 9, I, can't, I don't know math, anyways, it says right here, hey, Chili, get the fuck out of here, stay in prison, you dumb bitch, it says it right here, it says it right here, it says, fuck you, Chili, eat a cow dick, stay in prison, love Roy says right here in the Constitution. I can't really believe it. Like, they change the Constitution all the time. I was watching that debate with uh, Trump and uh, Biden, and I know I'm going to get some people pissed off when I say this. That was the funniest shit I've ever seen. That is hilarious. I've never seen a comedy like that. You know, I like American Pie. I like Step Brothers. I like that movie uh, Cocoon. And uh, what's the other one that's real funny? Uh, man, what is that funny movie? Um... Uh, Dreamcatcher, you know, the, the bugs that go up your ass and they talk like they're a aliens, and you know what I mean? That's a good movie. That's a that's a good damn banger. Whew. I'm really excited, guys. We're going to be doing some stuff here soon. Uh, Mr. Bits and Mr. Evil Ass and X, like I said, he's being a degenerate on X and making fun of console gamers and video gamers, arguing with them all day and posting stupid political things that most people probably won't even care about. Doesn't say a whole lot of things, but he makes some pretty crazy jokes. I would not follow him on X, by the way. Trust me, it's a bad idea. He's a troll for sure. He's definitely using his super troll powers. But anyways, we're going to be doing some gaming here soon. Do some uh, live streaming on some games. One day it'll be him. One day it'll be me. We'll cover different games like some Call of Duty, some War Zones, some uh, Fortnite and some scary games and probably banana. You know what I mean? It's probably what we're going to do because here's the thing. I like me some gaming. I love, I grew up in gaming. You know what I mean? I was playing Pong, playing the Pong on the uh, Atari 99 back in the day in the Commodore 76. I know my gaming pretty well. You know what I mean? Bill Gates put Game Pass there on Microsoft Windows whenever it was announced. And, uh, it, you know what I mean? Back in the 80s when Microsoft made Game Pass. It's pretty cool. I, you know, it's really cool. But anyways, it's really fun to watch, uh, watch this guy, uh, Mr. Evil Asses, his ego on X, uh, going after console war kids who uh, stick their dicks in plastic boxes and worship them without getting paid, which is really funny. It's hilarious to me. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, I can't get used to not having my nice mullet. But like I said, I had to change, man. I'm growing a mullet, but it's going to be a modern mullet for modern audiences. You know what I mean? But, you know, we just don't want to be compared to, uh, you know, that doctor that disrespects people, especially children. We don't want none of that. All right, guys. Happy Independence Day. I hope you have a good one. Eat some beer, drink some hot dogs, punch your neighbor, piss in his yard, call the police, order him pizzas, fart in the phone, do all that stuff. That's why freedom's for, guys. That's why we have freedoms. 
That's why we have freedoms. Till then, I love you very much. I hope you have a great one. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll be back one day, especially when the chili appeal comes out. That's going to be funny. That's going to be funny. We're going to watch that, and he's going to be crying. Crying, oh, uh, I'm so oppressed because racism, and he's, he's just pulling shit out of his ass to try to soothe these people, and he's just going to lose miserably. It's going to be really funny. It's really funny, guys. It's really funny. Anyways, I love you guys very much. I'll see you soon.